Welcome back to Sexy Sense, where the senses are so sexy. The guaranteed friend. Thank you all so much for joining me once again. Today we're doing a... Drop the cap, doesn't matter. A fun video. So I was thinking last week, I was thinking, what else can I bring to the viewers apart from a one fragrance review? How about three? So, I went to Next and bought three fragrances as a complete blind buy. So, I've been wearing them for a week straight to work and asking my colleagues, what do they think of this one, what do they think of this one, yada yada yada. So today, these are the results of each and every one. I must say, this video is unscripted. Usually, when I do a video, it's got a little script. I write down what I'm gonna say, what not to say, yada yada yada. This one is second bottle cap drop. Anyway, this one is free to go. Now, the fragrances we'll be reviewing today. Stop rambling. First one, Next El Home. Right, that one was the first one. Second one is Next Signature. And then the third one is Next Edition. So, first fragrance reviews. First opinion, this one. El Home, I absolutely 100% hated it. I could not stand this fragrance. I put this on and it was reminding me of something that I did not like and it's still not. Now, second one, next signature. This one I was actually quite a fan of. This is, as you can tell, a more of fresher scent. When I first sprayed it, I was an actually fun. I liked it. I liked the way it settled on my skin. And then the third, I lied. I lied, guys. Okay, okay, I admit it. This last one was not a blind buy. I've had this one before, and quite frankly, I've had good memories with this fragrance because I used to wear this in high school. This is my favorite of the next line. Anyway, those are my first impressions. Let's get on to what people said about these fragrances. Now, when I asked the people I work with to review the fragrance I was wearing that day, let's start with El Home. El Home, they said they like how sweet it is, but there is something off-putting by it, almost sickly, which I will get into my next point. Now, next signature. This one disappointed me. My first opinion was clearly wrong because when I put this on, they could barely smell this. They they smelt it and they gave it a 3 out of 10, even a 2. So it's very weak in performance. Now the last one, next edition. This one they loved. They absolutely loved. You could smell it. It was projecting nice and it reminded people almost of Armani code fragrances, anything sweet like that, because it does smell very, very similar to an Armani code. And since you're buying it from Next and it's cheap, and you can't afford Armani code, pick this one up, 100%. So during the week, I made my own notes on my phone of these three fragrances, and here they are. Starting off with Next Edition. Now, First, when I bought this and actually unpackaged it, I noticed that they've changed the bottle. The bottle used to be, I'll show you a picture here, like this, and they've remade the bottle. So that's pretty cool, but onto the smell. As I said, it smells a lot like Armani Code, but a cheaper version. Since all of these are EDTs, they won't last that long, but this one lasts anywhere from four to five hours. So if you've got 16 pounds to spare and you want to smell good, people pleasing and very sexy, pick this one up, man. Definitely 100%. For teenagers, not so much. I would actually suggest buying this for a Father's Day gift or uh, your dad's birthday. It's a very mature, businessman-like smell, which I am very surprised from next. Hopefully none of that went in my mouth, but hey, let's move on to next signature. Now, I've made quite a lot of notes on this one and not in a good way. 
This one was the most disappointing one of the group. Now let's start off with the presentation. The bottle, I'll give it that. It's a very cool looking modern bottle. And apart from that, it goes downhill. The scent. I was sitting down, I was smelling it on my hand, and I was thinking, what does this remind me of? It, it, it smells like a hundred generic fragrances, but the calm down doesn't even smell like a fragrance. It smells like something else. Then it clicked. It smells like yeast. I know it sounds stupid for saying it, but it does. If any of my viewers have smelled yeast before, that's how the come down smells. And keeping in mind that it only lasts two to three hours and within the first two, the scent is gone and no one can smell you. Why would I want to buy this for 16 pound next? I mean, and even on the come down, I don't want to smell like a wet piece of bread. I'm going to have to give this one a 2 out of 10. And the only reason it's getting that 2 is the presentation is cool. Next, El Home. This one I did not like from the start. And I still don't like it. Why? Well, I was sitting down and I was smelling this on my free time. Thinking, what does this remind me of? It reminds me of something that I just don't like. And I've smelt it on a million guys before. One million. I don't like the fragrance myself. Yes, on the first spray it's amazing. But on the come down it can get very sickly and overly sweet. Which is the case with this fragrance as well. This one, yes, it does last anywhere from six to seven hours. Which is the longest out of all the three uh, fragrances. But... It smells overly sweet and almost sickening. So it's not a people pleaser. This one, I'm going to have to give it a 4 out of 5. 4 out of 10, sorry. I don't like this and frankly being honest, unless someone really likes 1 million, I would not gift this to anybody. I'm going to have to throw this one away myself, which I don't think I'd ever do with a fragrance, but with this one, I... I can't have it on my shelf. <laughs> now, the final question, would I shop in Next again for my fragrances? And in my opinion, unless it's for the Next edition, absolutely not. No, I mean, 16 pound, yes, it's a good price tag, but thinking about it, there are better fragrances, even brand fragrances, that are famous you can get that actually project way better and last that bit longer. So my overall for next is four, four out of 10. I would not be going back to buy their fragrances again, but I hope you guys enjoyed my review of next fragrances. I try to spice it up a little bit there for you, but um, follow me on TikTok. For more advice, if you're a man and you, or a, a woman, I've actually started doing a lot of that as well there. Follow me up on there and thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.